MOSFETs, BJTs and IGBTs. There were a lot of requests for this topic in all of my basic component videos. When to use one kind of these transistors or the other one? Which are the differences between these three types of transistors? How they work? Which one is better suited for your projects? And what are their main characteristics? That's what we will see in today's basic components video. I will try to show you some graphs, explain all that I know about these components and in this way maybe you will learn which one is better for your circuit. But before we start, make sure that you click the subscribe button, but also to activate the notification bell, because otherwise you might miss all my future videos that I post. Also a huge thank you to all my patrons for supporting my work. So let's get started. Video sponsored by JLC PCB. They have a new PCB batch production factory. More than 10,000 orders per day and 600,000 customers worldwide and now offering the best prices. Ordering PCBs is very easy. Upload the Gerbers, select your settings and order PCBs for just $2. What's up my friends, welcome back. For this video we have three types of transistors. First we have the MOSFET, then the BJT and the IGBT. These are all well known transistors and are all used in all kind of circuits. But why to use one and not the other? Which one is better? Well, it depends. It depends on what you are looking for in your circuit that you are designing. For example, the application area. It could be for motor control, maybe to make a power supply or an audio amplifier and so on. So that will influence your choice. At the same time, the load power modulation technique will also affect. For example, it could be a linear control, a switching mode and a static one and also the frequency will also affect. So for that we need to take a look on how each of these components will work. Let's see the main differences between these three types. First of all, varying the current through a load in a control manner is the primary function of any power semiconductor component. We have our load and we want to control the current flow, which could be fully on, fully off or something in between of that and that will change depending on the signal applied to the gate or the base of our transistor. First comparison will be the icon representation and the pins of each transistor. The bipolar junction transistor has this icon and it has a collector, the emitter and the base. Current could flow between the collector and the emitter and that is controlled by the signal applied to the base. For the MOSFET we have the drain, the source and the gate and in the same way current could flow between the drain and the source and that is controlled by the signal applied to the gate. Now the IGBT is a mix between these two and it has the emitter and the collector as the BJT but it is controlled by a signal applied to the gate as the MOSFET does. Ok so the second comparison will be the control type of each of these transistors. For the BJT the output current is a function that depends on the current amount applied to the base. More current applied to the base means more current flow between the collector and the emitter. That means that the gain is given by the current applied to the base. We apply a very small current to the base and the bigger current flow will be between the collector and the emitter and that's why we use the BJT. Now for the MOSFET the current flow between the drain and the source is controlled by the voltage applied to the gate. This voltage at the gate will modulate the channel resistance and thus the current through the transistor. Now the IGBT is also controlled by the voltage at the gate, which will modulate both the channel resistance and the current carriers, so once again this is a mix between the MOSFET and BJTs. But all these types of power transistors have a gain, so they can be used as amplifiers as well as switches. So what other differences we have? For that let's see their use as high power switching transistors. Since power is current times voltage, we have to look at the current and voltage capabilities. First, the BJT is considered to be a high voltage and low current device. It has low losses when it's turned on, can be switched up to speeds of around 100 kHz, the current is limited to a few amps but it could operate up to even thousands of volts. 
To precisely control the current flow, this transistor requires a complex base drive, where the small current at the base is also controlled, maybe even a feedback loop. For the MOSFET, we can say that is a high current but low voltage device. The resistance between the drain and the source is low, so it would carry high currents. It could operate at high speeds, up to 500 kHz. It could control high current loads, but for only maybe up to 100 volts. The gate control circuit is simpler than the BJT. Finally, for the IGBT, we could say it is a high voltage but also high current device. That's why this component is very interesting. It has much lower losses when it's turned on. It also has a simple circuit for the gate control, but the switching speeds are very low, around 50 kHz. To better see this, we have a 3 dimensions power applications graph, where we could see the max current, the maximum frequency and the maximum voltage for each component. As you can see, MOSFET could reach high currents, but they will work at relative low voltages. BJTs could handle higher voltages, but the current value is lower. And IGPTs could withstand good voltage and current values. And these are some examples on which application could each of these components be used as power control device. Ok guys, other parameters you need to have in mind when searching for components and checking datasheets. For the BJT we first have the IC, which will show the value of continuous current rating. We also have the HFE, which is the current gain, the relation between the current at the base and the current between the collector and the emitter. Also look at the on voltage value, the turn off time and the breakdown voltage, since these are also important parameters. For the MOSFET you might want to check the threshold voltage, which is the minimum voltage between the gate and the source you have to apply in order to activate the component. Also check the current rating and the on resistance for more complicated circuits where you must have that in consideration as well. For IGBTs we have more or less the same as for the BJT, but there is no current gain. Finally, but not the least important, as a designer you must have in mind the cost. This could change depending on the quantity that you want to buy, but usually for low quantities, the BJTs are very cheap. Then the MOSFETs are a medium price and usually IGPTs are a little bit more expensive. Please check all the tables I put below this video in order to see more parameters. Now you should know how to select your transistor according to the needs of voltage, the current values for your circuit, the switching speed that you want to use, the resistance, the circuit complexity, the gain and amplification, size and price. I hope that you understand the theory behind these three kinds of components. I also hope that this video will help you and teach you something new. If so, consider subscribing and please make sure that you activate the notification bell, because otherwise you won't receive notification when I upload new videos. Also consider supporting my work on Patreon. So thanks again and see you later guys.